and then they showed me where her head was and and her head was right here um so at 38 weeks uh baby girl has turned up flipped and she is currently breech Hey guys, it's Madison. Thanks for joining me in this faithful home. Um, not the video I wanted to film. I honestly don't even know if I'm gonna upload this video. I, I more so just wanna have this um, to look back on and not get emotional about. Okay, so I am currently 38 weeks, four days pregnant with our first baby, a baby girl, and I'm sitting out on our front porch because it's a beautiful morning. I am using a midwife. Uh, the plan is to have a home birth. If you haven't seen any of my videos before, I'll leave some playlists for you guys to go watch all of those updates and how I'm preparing for a home birth, but yesterday I went in for my 38 week appointment. I'm on weekly appointments now and let me just say that the week before so at my 37 week appointment, I had gone to the hospital to get an ultrasound done for one, to see baby, cause it's fun to do that. And then two, just to make sure that measurements were looking good cause she is quote unquote measuring small, which doesn't surprise anyone because we were small babies and that's like historically accurate for my family and David's. But yeah, so I went there at the 37 week appointment on a Monday. Um, she was nestled super low like she looked great head down pretty much almost like perfect spot you would want to be in to deliver and then later that afternoon i went to my midwife for our 37 week appointment um and she felt her and was like look you're having a contraction that's actually a really funny story that i don't i don't even want to say in this video because i want to save that for like a more upbeat video but this is currently not <sighs> So then I went to my appointment yesterday for my 38 week appointment and I have three midwives. So I've, we've had two midwives this whole time and they hired a third one. So we had two of the midwives and a student intern were there yesterday. Um, so there were three ladies there and we were talking, laughing, having a good time. The student was like, okay, do you mind if I feel your belly first? So that she could feel her. Um, so she started doing like her manual manipulations and was like, okay, I think I'm gonna have uh, my midwife feel next. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure. Like, makes sense, because you're a student, so I'd have my actual midwife feel. Um, so then my midwife comes over and feels, and then kind of like looks at her, and kind of like nods her head, like, okay, yeah, I, I see what you mean. And I'm like, how's baby? <laughs> like, what's going on? And um, so then she was like, let's have the other midwife uh, take a feel too. It's her turn. And they were super upbeat and optimistic and positive um, just in the whole appointment. And I was like, okay, yes. And then the next midwife comes over and, you know, asks if she can do her um, feel for the baby. And of course I was like, yes. And then the other midwife goes in the other room. And while she's doing it, she was like, are you guys feeling ahead up here? And kind of like feeling like right here. And I was like, oh no, that's like where her back and her butt are. Like last week, her spine was going down like that side and her feet are normally like kicking over here. And it's so, like her butt, spine, head down. And they were like, so we kind of feel like her head is up here. It's like, okay, um, are you sure? Like she's been head down for six weeks now and like has like dropped like I felt her physically drop and push down on my pelvis and there and then so at that point the other midwife had come in with their ultrasound machine and so they brought that in they're like hey do you care if we like do a check um and just confirm things and see what we see and I was like yeah of course like I want to know where my baby's at so they did that and at first it was really hard to tell because their machine is not like top of the line technology if you will and so it was really hard to understand what i was looking at i was trying not to get overwhelmed and then they're like yeah are you seeing what i'm seeing and they were kind of all talking and i was like i, I don't i don't see it i want to see it um then they showed me her spine and then they showed me where her head was and and her head was right here um so at 38 weeks uh baby girl has turned up flipped and she is currently breech which which I'm working through I'm processing um gosh I don't even know how I'm gonna edit this video 
but I know that talking through it with David helped yesterday. Um, and so if there's someone that's going through this as well out there that maybe me talking about it will be encouraging for you too. So of course, once they officially said she's breached, I start bawling my eyes out. I had my makeup done like it is now. Um, I normally don't wear makeup, but I did yesterday so that we could have our maternity photos done. And that went out the window. I was bawling my eyes out. I was a hot mess. They just hugged me and encouraged me. Um, let me cry. Let me express the emotions that I needed to express. So one of the midwives, she said, hey, um, I'm still optimistic. I am fully confident that we can flip her back. Um, like I had mentioned, she's, um, we know that she's small. I don't have a a large belly. I've done several anatomy scans that show that she's gonna be in that smaller uh, growth percentage. And my midwife said, you know, she's small and you have a ton of anti amp ambiotic fluid, um, which is great. My uterus is super healthy. I have a ton of fluid for her. But you think like this far along, most babies usually get wedged and they're like stuck in the spot they're gonna be in. Uh, versus my baby, if she's small enough she, and she has enough room in the pool, I'll have you, she can move around a lot easier. Even though she was nestled down, she could have actually been spinning around this whole time. Um, they encouraged me that it may just be that at the appointments that I've had, she happens to be head down, but she could have been spinning this whole time and I might not have noticed because of her size. I wouldn't feel like a drastic kick. Like, there's a lady I go to church with, she just had her baby a month ago and she like, physically felt this like bulge move turn and that was him flipping breech and then she felt it again and then he flipped back um and he was like a eight pound baby i think um at at birth and she was able to have a successful vaginal birth um and so they were just encouraging me like you know it's we're gonna work on some things we're gonna do things to help encourage her um and we we can do everything we can to try to you know get her back there's spinning babies um there's like the forward leaning inversions there's acupuncture chiropractic care which i already do chiropractic care i already lay on an acupressure mat which is not the same but similar stimulation um she recommended i go get a membership somewhere that has a pool so i can go swim and do some water therapy and they are very confident um i am still processing it's been gosh 20 hours <laughs> since my appointment um so i'm still like emotionally processing through it but something that david and i were talking about is how we can only plan so much um and the lord is ultimately in control um the lord has a plan he's had this plan since uh the day that we found out we were pregnant he's had this plan since before she was even a thought in our brain um that he is going to do um what he knows is best um and now we have to trust that um and that's hard that's scary um thankfully i have already been like working through and processing the thought of if i have to go to the hospital i i think i may i may end up posting this video and i'll edit it before so i can go through i've I've pre-filmed videos that way we're ready um, and I can just relax through the rest of this pregnancy and I, my next one will be what's in my hospital bag if I have to transfer in an emergency because I'm planning a home birth and so it's kind of funny that thinking about that video I'm like if I have to transfer if I have to transfer but really um, I have been mentally preparing this uh, but really I have been mentally preparing for if I have to go to the hospital um, if that's going to be medically necessary what we would do if I you know couldn't have a home birth that I have been dreaming about um and so that's definitely helped um talking through it David and I you know talking about what that would look like if she doesn't end up turning and we have to have a c-section and am I okay with that am I prepared for that um, and I've, I've thought about it. I've, you know, I've understood to an extent that it's possible and started to comprehend it and wrote out all my birth preferences, like what I would want in the event of a C-section. And so we had a good conversation yesterday about that, talking about what preferences I have, how C-sections generally work, what the like timeline is of them. Um, and so it was really good to have that conversation with him. Ultimately, just giving it to the Lord um, and trusting that he's got a plan for this girl um and that 
as long as she comes out healthy that's all that we care about obviously i would love to have my home birth and everything that i've prepared for it and david wants that for me too but he said more importantly i just want to hold our girl i want her to be here and i want to hold her in my arms and if that's you having a natural water birth at home then that's awesome if that's you having to go to the hospital, that's awesome. If that's you having an emergency C-section, that's awesome because we're gonna get to see our girl. We're gonna get to hold our baby. Um, and that's, that's something that we need to keep reminding ourselves of, reminding myself of. But that's not to say that we're not gonna try everything in the books to get her to turn because they're super optimistic. They even said like, she's probably turned multiple times and I just don't notice. And it's hard with like belly mapping to determine where she's at because what I thought was her head yesterday or what I thought was her back yesterday was her head. And so for me having a smaller baby it is that that comes with, you know, the the challenge. Um but also if I go past my due date that just gives us more time to get her in an optimal position and to get her to grow a little bit more because she's small. But no matter what, I'm gonna trust in the Lord. I'm gonna trust in his plans that he has for her um, and his plans that he has for me and knowing that he is going to bring us our baby in the way that he has designed already. And that's, that's hard. I so desire a natural, unmedicated water birth at home. I'm not giving up hope that it can't happen, but I need to remember to trust in the Lord and know that his plans are perfect. Um, I did not like plan, sit down, think about this video in the slightest. So hopefully all of that made sense. I'm trying to block the sun from peeping up on this sunrise. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. If you are going through something like this, give it to the Lord. Uh, talk about it with other people. Talk about it with your close friends, your family, your spouse. Um, don't don't hold it in. I've got so much more that I could talk about. I just have not organized my thoughts in the slightest about it. I will definitely make an update video um, on how things are going and what we're doing. Like I said, the, the spinning babies, inversions, uh, water therapy, acupuncture, chiropractic care, all of that. Uh, I, I don't really want to talk about it now because I, we've done the forward leaning inversions once yesterday. Um, so it's still new to me. I've done some research on it in the past just to be well informed of a lot of different things that are out there, uh, but not to the extent of I needed to really know what it was to use it. So this is new to me, new territory, um, but the Lord is in control and yeah. I will, I will keep you guys updated. Like I said, I have some videos that I already pre-filmed that will go live next. Um, and then I'll, I'll put some updates when I see fit for you guys. Yeah, I think I have three videos that are already filmed. So hopefully it makes sense sprinkled in between. But I'm just preparing for a girl. She's gonna be here before we know it. I am. A happy mama. I am trusting in the Lord and I am praying for you if uh, you're in a similar situation I am. Um, thank you guys so much. I appreciate your support throughout this whole pregnancy. Um, share this video with someone who needs encouragement if they're going through this um, because you're not alone and it doesn't have to be scary. I may seem timid on this video compared to some of my other jovial uh, videos that I've made but I'm, I'm working on being at peace and that's, that's all I can ask for. Um, so thank you guys so much, and I will see you next week for another video. Bye guys.